I did not know you would be here. Oh, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Have you seen Miss Thompson? She is ill. My mama had to stay home with her. Papa had to chaperone. I'm quite enjoying the fact that he is here. Mama would never allow me to wear a dress like this. Not to yellow enough, I think. <gasps> Penelope. I'm afraid I cannot offer you that dance, Miss Cowper. I am to escort Miss Featherington to the floor. You love him. What? No, it makes sense now. Your rejections, your meddling. You love Colin Bridgerton. No, not to what you speak. I believe I know so much more than you, Pen. I owe you an apology. I did not see it at first, but I know you were only trying to prevent me from heartache with Miss Thompson, and and I was a fool. You are not a fool. You merely believe yourself in love. One should never apologize for that. One finds oneself in such an incredible position, and well, one should declare it assuredly, fervently. Your love is an unrequited fantasy. Colin sees you as you are and regards you no differently than he does Eloise. I wish to tell you something. I have something I wish to tell you as well, Ben. I'm leaving. He is a good man with a good heart. You are very good to him. I am certain one day he will see it. Colin! How have you been? Well, I have been well, and you? Well, I was never on my own, of course. I see. You met someone. But simply open your eyes to what is in front of you, then you might see there are those in your life you already make happy. And who would that be? You have your family. You have... Penelope. I am a woman. You are Pen. You do not count. You're my friend. Your friend. If you've been certain you'll find your purpose one day, everyone must eventually. Have you found yours? Of course not. I imagine it to be something very animated and satisfying. The type of entity that speaks not to who I am, but rather who I aim to be. My purpose will challenge me to be brave and witty. My purpose will propel me far beyond the watchful glare of my mama. My purpose, she'll set me free. Lady Crane was right about you. What did she say? That you cared for me, that you would never forsake me. I'm beginning to believe that now. Without a few feathering. The way you were dancing with her looked rather interesting. You're courting the girl, Bridget. Ah, uh, are you mad? I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington. I must take a husband before that happens. Oh, oh how mortifying. I'm so clumsy. Ben. Colin. Why are you moving so soon? Especially in such a charming dress. Do not mock me, please. You missed me, but you would never caught me, is that correct? <laughs> Pen, I... I overheard you. At my mama's ball last season. Telling everyone how you would never, ever caught Penelope Featherington. I'm sorry for intruding. And I'm very sorry for my callous comment here last year. It pains me to see you upset. Then perhaps you should not have come. I'm not the man I was last season. And I'm most certainly not ashamed of you, Pen. The, the opposite is true, in fact. I seek you out at every social assembly because I know you will lift my spirits and make me see the world in ways I could not have imagined. You are clever and warm, and I am proud to call you my very good friend. Is this new character the real him, or simply a ploy for attention? Every year I pray I might finally feel that way amidst the marriage mart and that comfort never materialises. You saying you want my help after what Lady whistled down, right? Whatever she has said about him, she is wrong. She has never been more wrong about anyone. I just pay her no heed. She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Pen. <laughs> Were you reading that? No, I, I did not mean to. 
Aaron! Colin, your hand! There's nothing. There's not nothing. Stay there. How's your hand? Much better. Thanks to you. Tell me it is not true. I cannot. Oh, Penelope. I bribed her to give us a moment to learn. I had to see how you were. You read us out. She's beastly to write such things about you. It's her job to report what everyone is talking about. Would have been suspicious if she had not. Could I ask you something? Of course. Do you kiss me? See you? Yes, this is. It's good to see you as well. And I apologize for not coming to see you earlier. Oh, it is for the better that you did not. Is it? Isn't it? We cannot continue our lessons. I agree. <laughs> good. Hmm. Uh, just so I'm clear, what is your reasoning? Exactly, is it because of what happened between us? No, <laughs> no. But uh, I assure you, nothing of the kind will ever happen again. Penelope, I. Well, I, I wish very much for your happiness. But I thought you believed the best foundation for great love was friendship. Indeed, I do. It is how your father and I began. But it is rare to begin as friends and for both parties to then film more. I hear Penelope may be getting a proposal tonight. Tonight? That's rather quick. Likely because of your help. Pen. I can't marry him. You hardly know him. I know him well enough. I said I would help you find a husband, but I cannot stand by and watch you make a mistake. The only mistake was me ever asking for your help in the first place. Penelope. He rejected me because of you. Because the scene you caused led him to believe you had feelings for me. What if I did have feelings for you? What? A total inability to stop thinking about you. About that kiss. Feelings like dreaming of you when I'm asleep, and in fact, preferring sleep because that is where I might find you. A feeling that is like torture. <laughs> I can't saw us. For God's sake, Penelope Featherington, are you going to marry me or not? 